Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on the French map. Right, so a lot has actually gone on in between this episode and the last because it's been a quite a while. Um, and I did pretty much all the jobs that were remaining at that time and then obviously I've been doing other videos and it's been a while since I've actually played this map and this save game. So I am glad to be back on it because uh, I was enjoying it quite a lot. Um, so let me just give you a bit of an update of what's been done. So after we did the harvest and we... Uh, harvested the wheat and we actually turned out pretty good yield um, I put all the bales away so I did all the baling put it all away manually stacked them in here and as you can see I think we got a good number um, and I stacked them up not too bad um, I did get this because I found it was a lot easier when it was stacking in fours and I wanted to not try and you know I just wanted to try and save a bit of space so I thought stacking in fours was the best way to go on that um, I even got that because obviously with this picking up four bales um, it did, you know, tend to tip, so I, I needed quite a bit of a weight on the back, which uh, uh, sorted that out. Um, we've got a good amount of bales now. Hay, we're doing well, and straw is the same. So, um, i tell you one thing, the grass on this, it really just, just keep growing. It really does. So, we, we're never going to have an issue with grass. Uh, yield bonus at 95% in here. Uh, now, this field, it does need rolling, but I decided to use some of the slurry. So we're not going to be able to roll it this time because it is now uh, fertilised to the max. There's no point in me rolling over it anyway because it's just going to put the growth back down to um, the start. So I may as well just keep it as it is. I think we're just going to have to try and balance it out between rolling the grass, spreading manure, spreading uh, fertiliser, whatever, slurry, um, and just see whatever you've got. I mean, I've got quite a lot of manure and uh, slurry at the time building up, so I thought it just made sense to use it. Um, and it saved time as well. Now, I did try and generate a bit of money because the money was getting low and I did have a, a bit of a fancy slurry spreader. Um, so I decided to sell that and go with this one, which obviously saved me some money by just selling that one and then buying this. I uh, got a bit of money back in the, in the bank account, which has helped a lot, uh, but obviously it's not as good. It hasn't got like a dribble bar. Um, it kind of just sprays out at the back. You can see this here. Now, another thing that I did after harvesting was I mulched both the fields. Um, and as you can see, after times passed, there is a few weeds, but we don't need to worry about them because we're going to cultivate this anyway. So yeah, as you can tell, this is fully mulched. That's mulched and there's just weeds. If we get rid of the mulch though, and actually get rid of the weeds, you can see there's a patch down here that needs lime. So I'm going to have to sort that out. I don't know why this part here needs lime. It's a bit of a strange one, but I will get that sorted out. So I'll get hooked up to this. I've set it up like pretty much at the start. I haven't done the course yet, so we'll do that first thing. There we go. Now, I am using course plate, and you've probably used it quite a lot yourself. Um, obviously, it's early days with this. There's probably going to be a lot to change. I haven't used any courses on this map at all. I have messed about with it a bit on different playthroughs, just testing out and stuff, uh, but I haven't really... Um, come to terms with the new menu system let's say I don't know if it's just me but I kind of prefer like auto drive has an in-game menu where you can kind of see the game in real time you don't have to keep jumping in a menu to change things I prefer that way I'll be honest and I and I hope they give you the option I mean that's just my opinion people might prefer that it's in this menu now uh, but I, I did like the course play uh, kind of menu box that you got before like like you do now with still with auto drive um, so fingers crossed it might give you the option it probably won't in all fairness with it being integrated now into the menus uh, but yeah I, I did prefer it so I have set this the, the course play driver wage to 50% don't want it to repair um, and the rest is pretty much sound I don't need to show all active courses uh, so let's let's get set up so what we want to do is create job course play field work I want to set a point I might just set it a bit further down here probably about there and let's generate the course. I mean, I do tell it to go first waypoint here, but you'll find that it always reverts back if I don't set it going from in here. But I always like to drive the tractor close to because I've found that it does tend to go off in crazy directions if not. So we'll have to come and change that in a second. All right, so now the working width, it's in feet, so it's not in meters. So I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to hope it's right first time around. Um, We'll see if it needs adjusting after. Um, I want to change this to probably sharp. I find that it doesn't miss much when it's on sharp. Uh, number headlands, let's go with two because it is a big piece of kit. Probably maybe you only need one, but we'll check it 
see what it's like. Let's start work on the headlands because it's always a safe bet. Row start direction automatic, not a problem. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, there's not much else I want to change there. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So we'll just generate the fieldwork course. As you can see, it's now just underneath this menu. So we need to close it down. So as you can see, that's the, the course itself. Not too bad. So thinking about this, we could actually save this course. Now it's field 41 and 42. Um, and I think it's a shallow cut of 8.2 meters. I think it is. We'll call it that anyway. So let's create a new folder and call it field 41. Uh, we'll keep it at that because we know it's going to be both fields. And then we want to save the course. We want to make sure we call it, there we go, call 8.2 meters. We'll call it that. And there you go. It's in there. So it's in the folder field 41. Uh, cultivate so we can open that up at any point but we're all right right now we've got it all set now before I actually do see how it's popped out the menu uh, so you do need to go back into create job cross play field work and then set it from first waypoint now they have changed it with as well with the 0.16 I think it is the most recent version um, and now actually you need to make sure you do have this set to control H you don't have to put it control H but I've uh, got this set to control H before if you just pressed H it would uh, activate course play at the same time as or a standard work depending on, but if you've got like the course set up course play it would activate uh, that but now it's if you press H it won't do that it'll just do a standard uh, Giants um, their their version of um, an AI driver which will pretty much just go up and down there is no course generated so I've got it as control H now I'm just gonna quickly point out that for me at the moment course plays is quite problematic when you start it off I always find it doesn't matter what I do I always find every now and again uh, it just it just doesn't want to start from the first waypoint it just it goes around in circles it drives off it's it you know I think that's just that initial thing but as soon as you get it going it works perfectly it really does and obviously because it's in early development that makes sense you know that they're obviously still ironing out all the details to it and all, all the problems um, but what we'll do because it if you jump back out and then go back in here it'll always revert back to the nearest waypoint now I don't want it to start here because it then might carry on on that second headland I want it to start at the first waypoint now I'll start it from in here I won't press Control H outside of the game this is why I do prefer having that menu in game because I can now line it up and see the tractor as it's moving I'm going to jump back out um, and what you'll find is it will revert again to nearest waypoint so then I'll have to realign him up um, or come back in here and I just I think it's just my preference so I've lined him up, he's going clockwise, I'll press start job and let's see what happens. Now the waypoint's just there, right in front of him, and I've got a feeling he's going to drive around. I don't know, I don't know if it's uh, everyone or anyone else is finding this issue, but it's, uh, it's, it is difficult to just get him going in the first place. It's like he now wants to go the other direction even though the arrows are pointing clockwise. I don't think he really knows what he's doing. So I'll tell you what, why don't we just see if we can start it off and then do something. Because this is obviously uh, a bit tricky at the moment with course play to get this working properly. So let's just start it off. Let's do this turn. We'll get him on a, um, a normal path. I mean, I, my opinion is just to start it off yourself at the moment. I mean, I find this happens more than 75% of the time currently. Now, course play is obviously really worth using, um, so it's not something to not use it for. Uh, definitely just, just you know, persevere with it. But if I press Control H from here, he works fine. It's just that first waypoint. It's always uh, starting off for me. Uh, now, like I said, it could just be some small little detail that in a few updates we won't even see anymore but there you go he's started up he's working perfectly he's on his way he's doing the route um, and if we go back in here you can see that he's uh, yeah he's cracking on with it but there we go he's working he's just done his turn I do like the uh, sharp turn feature because it's not actually showing um, that it's missing bits now I always find with the smooth turn you might see a little corner here but the best way to see it is it'll probably be like a little patch here on his neck corner but I do find if you try and set it to sharp cornering um, then yeah it kind of works a treat now you might see a few lines popping up every now and again like information remember it is in development mode so you're gonna you're gonna be seeing some debugging going on you can turn some of it off by pressing left shift and four I think it is there you go so if you if we press left shift and four you'll see some of it come up um, 
um, but obviously you probably don't want that to be there now you can turn it off like I do um, and again you can go into the menus here for course play and uh, you've got all your all your selections here but this is what I see quite a lot of here reference and correction now it's always when it gets to the point at the end um, and it is de de deactivated when it comes to the debugging um, but what you will find is I still see the odd message and it's always when it's about to turn so you just have to kind of crack on with that um, sometimes you'll see it sometimes you don't um, like we can see it right now it's a bit crazy but I'm not going to be doing any um, tutorial videos on course play until it's in its like a, a better state and obviously it's really early early development like I've mentioned um, but until it's properly developed um, and things because you've got to remember things could drastically change they might not but they could do um, and I don't want to be doing tutorial videos just yet because it, it probably means that I'm gonna to have to refresh them videos anyway so I'm gonna wait until it's at the right point and then I will be going into it in depth and we'll try and do um, a good tutorial series on course play and yeah what it offers because let's be honest it does a lot of stuff it really does and especially if you use it with auto drive right so we'll let him crack on it means that we don't have to worry about it um, and there's a few other things that I want to do in this episode so one of them is I want to get some chickens. I think chickens are going to be a really good way for me to earn money. So I'm going to try and put some chickens down in this episode. But to do it, I need a bit of money. I really do, because I don't want to just get a small chicken coop with about 30 chickens. It just doesn't pay off. I want a big one where we can actually uh, make some serious money from the eggs. Now, to do that, I'm going to put the thing down in the bottom corner. I think it's best if I use this small little patch of land over there next to me cows. So I have got a mod in mind that's going to make it so I can put my own fence around as well and it holds up to 700 I think it's 720 chickens which means that we could probably get 100 now and let them breed out and max it out we're not going to be selling the chickens for money we're going to just be selling eggs that's going to be our sole reason to have some chickens so we'll let it max out to 720 and then just keep them eggs coming in um, and let's be honest eggs are really good money so it, it's just a no-brainer and we can start generating some serious cash uh, but to do that we need to generate some money like I said now what I want to do in this episode is we need to buy a milk tanker because I've got quite a bit of milk sitting in the parlor let's say and the, the, the milk tanker um, and it's at, what am I at 13,400 and it's only going to keep getting up and up I'm, I am feeding them TMR TMR is all good there don't have to worry about that but the cows soon they're going to start breeding as well and when that happens you know a year's time from now we're probably going to even have more cows milking so it's something that i need to keep in mind and i need to try and yeah stop generating some money from this milk because as soon as it maxes out it's going to be a lot of trips now i think the best way to do this is to set up an auto drive with a tanker to one of either the dairy and i think you can also sell it at um i think it might be the bakery so let me just have a quick look to confirm that Yes, it is. It's the bakery. So right now, the best price is the dairy. So we'll set the dairy up, but we might also set up the bakery in the future as well. And then all we need to do is kind of do a, a loop so we can do like three or four trips in one go. We can get auto drive, earning some money as well. And uh, we you can be doing uh, the, the runs for us because it is quite a lot of work when you can only hold 8,000 litres in the tanker that I'm wanting to buy because they are quite expensive. These tankers are. Um, where are we now? So if we just have a quick look in here, you can see that these are my two options really. I've got one that's 68,000 and one that's 25. Yes, it only holds 8,000 litres, but it's an investment right now. If we buy that, um, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. We don't want to give ourselves any extra costs. But we're going to have to buy it, 25,000, and then that's that done. So we're going to go pick it up now, and we're going to go try and do an auto drive in here. Now, the good thing about that trailer, it is a dolly, and I want to be able to swing around. So I'm going to probably have to move some of this out of the way. Um, now, I will do that now. I'll just get it done, because it makes sense to give myself the space to do this in. And on the way, I'll explain to you as well about the idea that I've got for the two fields. So we've just done some wheat, which was pretty good. On the right side of the road now we're in France let's make sure I drive on the right side uh, yeah so I did two fields of wheat and we got some good yield now we're gonna have quite a few chickens so we don't want to restrict ourselves. we want to make sure we've got the feed we don't want to be buying it in so the smaller field that I've got I'm gonna keep that and I'm just gonna grow some either barley or wheat again we get some straw off it which is a bonus and that's just gonna be for chicken feed um, I'm gonna keep probably about 20,000 liters I'd say 
I mean, that should be plenty if we've only got 100 chickens. We are waiting for them to breed. That will jump up pretty quick, but I think right now that should be enough. And the rest I'm going to sell at the right time. I'm not going to do any production features with the wheat just yet, because obviously that means I'd have to, you know, invest into uh, an another production uh, building. I think if I'm going to invest in anything, it's probably going to be the dairy, and we could look at cheese. But I think for the wheat, we're just going to sell it as it is. Um, and if we just have a quick look at wheat on, where are we? If we just have a quick look at wheat, we've got 88,000 litres. So let's say we've got 68,000 litres because we want to keep 20. And we go at the price fluctuations. January is the best time. We're currently in August, the worst time, unfortunately. But round about then, I'm hoping to get a good yield. Um, if this is working as it should. I know they, they changed it and, and it was working much better after version 1.2. So I am hopeful that it's uh, around this time that we're going to look at the prices. But if we just keep an eye on it, I mean, what's our best right now? Say 550, yeah, 540, something around that. We could say 500. Um, and if it's all the way down here, who knows? We could be close to like a thousand. Who knows? I'd have to check um, at closer to, but we'll watch it because it's obviously going to start going up now from September, October and so on. And hopefully January time, we'll get, if we catch it just right so it doesn't go back down in February, we might be able to get a good price in between December and January. So that is the plan. Right, so head back and we'll start setting up this course. Right, so I'm back at the farm and we just need to have a quick look at the routes that I've already done. I have done a few, nothing too crazy, just around the farm, like, you know, the silo and fill points and put one by the shed um, and I just think looking at it we probably want to I'd say if we start it off about here on this node just here that'll be fine we'll, we'll just make it as one direction we don't need it coming up from that side and um, we'll just have it for over here because I do believe if we have a look at the map a lot of the time when it does this that's the dairy and that's the bakery so it's always going to be coming from this direction anyway so it's probably best to just do it here and go back out that way so let's get auto drive back up and make sure we're at the right node I think we are and um, we just want to try and do this we just want to try and get this just right one one way we don't want it to be a two-way route we will adjust that in a second because that was a little bit off now I know I've got that cow shed one but we'll just do a separate one for filling up milk because I want to try and get this spot on so it actually hits the trigger that might be a little bit tight and that bale's going to be in the way now we'll fill it up because we want to make sure we've got that trigger which we have and then what I'll do is I'll probably put the point around here. I think that's perfectly fine there. And we'll call this. There we go. Job done. That bale will go. We'll get rid of that at some point. And then what we want to do is try and link it just back out without obviously touching the crop because that can be an option. I mean, if we've got a field full of crop and we go over it, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. There we go. And then what we'll do is probably just, I'd say about there, that's fine. I'm happy with that. We can straighten that up a little bit as well. So there's that bit done. It's all looking a bit crazy at the moment, but that's that. Now we'll link it back up again as it comes back out. Right, so I'm at the dairy. Um, and we're going to do a bit of a loop round. I think it's always best, you know, safe bet just to go round and do a loop. So I'll start recording from here off this bit here we'll go left and then we'll go around the building I think the waypoint to, to the trigger is just over here there we go so if I just make it a little bit forward there we go I'm happy with that there it means if I come with a, a bigger trailer it'll still hit that trigger and we're still in it currently as well which helps there we go, so I'll call it the dairy, and job done, we just need to link it back up. Um, now, I'm not too fussed about going at this junction, but we can cut back on to this route here. There we go. 
job done. Now this should work a treat. Now before I actually sell this, I am going to test it out. I could sell it here and then uh, let it do the second loop um, and test out on that, but I'd rather it to just show that it's working and do a few loops. So I'm just going to jump back to the farm and we'll start it going from probably just from like the tool shed area. Right, so we're back at the farm and let's just test this out. Now it is full on milk, so what it'll probably do is is get to that point and then hopefully drive off, but if not, we can always continue it on. Um, but if we go pick up and deliver from our farm milk to the dairy and we're gonna be taking milk and we want it to do probably two runs. And there we go, job done. It does want to repair, as you saw there. I do need to change the settings on that. It obviously knows that it's pretty low. It's not too low, but we can change that. Now, it is actually going to take the route. It already knows it's going to the dairy because obviously fill up, fill up on milk, but it's going to take this loop, which is good to see. Now, I think what's happened here is it's got collision detection on. So, let's just turn collision detection over ground to 2.5 and now that should work sometimes you might find if it goes uphill or downhill um, it sometimes thinks it's going to collide when it's not so you can change that and I do need to move that bale don't I I really do it's going to be very problematic so let's just cheat a bit Use super strength and move this over here. There we go. Job done. So we'll jump back in with him a second, but we'll just see him go out the farm. I mean, he's having a whale of a time. Or oh, she is. Is it a she? Yeah, it is. Wow, I need to take the <laughs> the uh, corner in speed. I need to drop that down. Definitely. So let's quickly do that. I mean, she was uh, racing. So if we just change this down to, I always think 70, 65, something like that, between that is a pretty good um, pretty good bet. Now this isn't a massive trailer, so I'd say 75 is going to be safe for that. Now you do have to watch out with the actual course that's generated on these roads, especially on the base maps with Giants. Some of them work perfectly, don't get me wrong, the, they'll link up, but you'll find the odd turn or the odd uh, junction has an issue. Right, so it's turned in, as you can see, he's doing, doing what he's intended to do, so now all he needs to do is sell it, and if we can get back to the trigger and pick up another load, then this is going to work a treat. And there we go, so he's, he's, you can see the money going up and the milk going down. Let me just quickly check before the money comes in how much we're going to get for this. So it's 1,267 at the dairy. 10,000 pounds for that, that's pretty good going. That really is good going. Now the only issue we've got is we're gonna try and need to generate probably about, I think it's about 60,000 for the uh, chicken coop. So we might have to take out a bit of a loan for this, um, but we'll hopefully have to pay it off instantly with the money we generate. Right, so I'm back at the junction. Let's try this again and see what happens. Now, hopefully it won't just drive past now. It'll slow down, which it looks like it's doing. There we go. So it's obviously fixed that connection. Now, I have seen this before. Yes, it isn't perfect when it does the auto-generate on these maps. You will find these issues, and it does actually happen on quite a few junctions. So if you, if you think it's problematic too much, maybe press no at the start and then do the routes yourself. But I mean, I'd rather fix a couple, you know, a few junctions on a route than actually do the whole thing, especially these um, turning points here. I mean, they are quite, uh, there's quite a lot going on, so it does help out. So what we need it to do now is basically go and fill it with milk and do the full loop. So I'm actually going to jump out and I'm going to try and race him, see if I can do it. I mean, I can jump over things, more than like him, but, or, she, or, he, or she, he might be a man now, who knows. I can get over here and we can just see what it does now there was a point here that it got close 
but luckily it didn't clip. But if we just have a quick watch of this just to see what goes on. I mean, that is very close. It really is. We want it to start filling up with milk, which we will here. There we go. So he's filled up, but he's not full. So because of that, what will happen now is he'll wait. So we want him just to continue because it's not a full load. So you just have to press continue at that point and then he'll carry on. Um, so we're going to just let him do the job. Now we know that the course is going to work from then on. And we will see the money go up at some point. Right, so we just sold the milk. We got £7,673. He's on his way back. Um, now, he finished in this course, as you saw. Now, this field here, I already did. So both of these fields now are cultivated and ready pretty much for the next job. Um, and I have to say, he's done a cracking job of this field. If we just have a quick look, you can see that he's actually missed nothing. Really, really good job. Uh, but if we just jump into here, because I do want to clear off that course clear current course job done there we go so all we need to do now is part this back up and we can also take off editing mode now and auto drive we don't need that up there we go let's go and get ourselves a chicken pen and put it here and we'll get some chickens in and then i think that'll be a good way to end the end the episode So if we just have a quick look you can see that uh, i've got a few options now um there's a few here i like these because they're uh, basically free range chicken coop so you, and they're, they're more reasonably priced i mean at the end of the day for two troughs two thousand pound probably more like it six thousand uh, pound a little steep however it still only holds 30 chickens which is not enough for me now this one's seventy nine thousand, and it's the one that comes with the game it's got the fence and everything it holds 360 this one's 720 and it's sixty three thousand, but it comes with no fence but we need to get the money first now good thing about it is i can have a look here and get a un good indication of where the fence is going to be and I can build my own fence around this and plunk it there so I think that's the aim so we need to get up to 63,000 so if we take out a 30,000 pound loan unfortunately it has to happen every now and again I guess uh, I don't like to do it but I think the main aim will be to pay it off as soon as so I'm at 71,000 now but this is obviously going to use quite a lot of that and it's not going to leave me much left now luckily with this being in August we've got some grain that we can sell soon enough and if we have a look at the milk the actual price of milk goes up in october so i'm hopefully going to get some good income so i'm not too fussed about it we can afford it right now but i think when we sold the grain we're gonna have to sell off the loan that we're getting right now for this so if we just put this here now i don't know how this is going to terraform i'm hoping it's not going to be too too bad but i'll be honest it can be pretty shocking but you know what? I'm happy with that. That is not bad at all. And you can see the outlay of where it's going to be. Uh, and we can place our own fence. So, just thinking, do I need to smooth it out anywhere? Probably do. I want to try and keep the cost low. Uh, I'm not too fussed about the back. We can smooth it, though. If we soften and... Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, if we click that, I think probably around here just a quick nothing too special just to smooth it out a little bit there we go I'm up with that that's, that's not bad at all there's a few bumps at the back but we'll be alright with that now I think a good thing to do is obviously going to get a track and I'm probably going to do it because I want to try and use some of this with grass still um, I think it might be a good option to maybe separate this bit out here uh, that bump there puts me off that's the only issue I mean we could go from the road here and like fence off a field I think that might be a good shout actually There we go, I'm happy with that, I think it looks pretty good, there's a bit of a bump here but do you know what, it's not too bad it really isn't. Um, what I will do is when I've got a bit more spare cash, I will actually fence off this bit here uh, going off. And this is going to be my entrance from the main road. Uh, so we'll come in this way 
um, and then we'll fence off this little bit here so we have still got a bit of patch of grass there and if we do need to put anything else in like sheep or anything we've got a bit of space and a bit of land there but I think it's a good idea to fence it off but just because it does cost a bit of money to obviously use the fences I thought it made more sense not to do that Right, so the last little touch we need to do is we need to get some grain. Now, I haven't actually got the small trailer available because it's got it's like got a load of manure in. So I'm actually just going to quickly use this and it's just going to make things probably a little bit more difficult because it's uh, quite a big trailer. But it'll do the job and that's the main thing. And we'll just go and fill it with feed and then we'll just try and buy as many chickens as possible with the money we've got. Um, probably got, not going to need too much, but I will take whatever I'll probably take 16,000 litres I mean that's plenty isn't it? it depends how much it holds but hopefully they're not going to use more than that I mean I did say that I was going to allocate 20,000 litres to them so fingers crossed this will fill it up and plenty but at least now we're going to start generating some eggs which then in turn will generate some money and that's the main aim Yes, it's definitely a job for a smaller trailer. I mean, I tried to put that bit in there to turn, but as you can tell, it's not that simple. And they are taking pretty much all this grain, so... 60. That is only that much. I'm happy with that. We can just keep buying some here. I mean, we can let them breed as well. So let's just say 240. I'm happy with that. That's not cost us much. We've still got quite a bit of money. Chickens are really cheap, aren't they? Let's be honest. <laughs> they really are. Um, but there we go. We've got some chickens on the farm. And we got the food for them and everything else. Uh, let's just have a quick sneak peek at what we're going to potentially be getting for eggs. I mean, right now, it's about medium. We're about halfway with what we can expect. 1,900. Still good, good, still good money. So... Let's just have a quick look at the chickens. 240, they've got hardly any grain. They really haven't, they hold obviously a lot more, but hopefully this will last out. I will keep an eye on it. Um, I will try and put 20,000 litres in, but then again, if we have to, you know, use more, then so be it. We've got the fields, we, you know, if we need to plant in, we can. But probably now in between this episode and the next, I'll do the lime uh, that I'd said down there. Um, and if any grass comes up, I'll get that uh, mowed up probably make some salage uh, but I will do that in between this episode and the last because you've, you've, you've seen me do some salage so um, I'll probably cut back in now when we're planning our next crop and also get into the time when we're selling the wheat so we can start paying this £30,000 loan off to get these chickens but on that note I am going to leave the video there so thanks for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator